Hi friends, I hope you're doing well. It is July, which means I'm sitting down to film my June favorites with you guys. These are all the products that I fell in love with for the month of June. I have skincare products, I have hair care, and of course, makeup to share with you. So let's just dive right in. We're gonna start with skincare. I've actually been meaning to talk about this for a couple months, but I keep forgetting. It's one of those things that I've been loving for months actually, but I always forget every time it's time to film a favorites video. Since this is upstairs in my bathroom, sometimes I forget like to include it. I love this. I bought this myself as soon as this launched. I don't know what it was about the marketing, but it got me quick. This is the Metacube Collagen Glow Booster Serum. Honestly, I think the packaging is what initially caught my eye. Look at this. Here's what it looks like. You twist the bottom cap here, and then you press down the button. You only need a couple of pumps of this, and it is the most beautiful, glowy serum to ever exist, okay? It makes my skin look so healthy. It's wonderful for those mornings. I mean, you can use it any morning, but you know those times when you wake up and you just feel like you didn't sleep enough or maybe you didn't drink enough water, I don't know, and your skin just looks dull? This virtually revives that, okay? It is so beautiful all over the skin. I love this serum so much. I noticed a pattern when I was using this where I would wake up, I would use the serum, do my skincare, you know, and before I would put makeup on, we have like a big mirror in our kitchen. And I noticed a pattern where I was like, whoa, my skin looks really nice. I figured out that every time I wore this in the morning, that's when I thought that about myself, okay? It's so lovely. It has milk protein extract, hydrolyzed collagen, elastin. I mean, my skin seems to really love it, but I mostly love it for the effect that it gives. Metacube has been like a new recent favorite skincare slash skin device brand. I love their like age booster device. I bought that a few months ago and I still use it. Anyway, love this stuff. It just makes the skin look incredible. I was sent some products from this brand in PR a while ago and what really made me want to try it because if I'm honest, like the packaging, you know, it wasn't really like the branding that made me want to try it as much as the product itself. So this is from the brand One Skin and you can see it looks pretty like medicinal, pretty clinical, which I think, you know, that's what they're going for. This is the S01 Face Topical Supplement. Let me, hold on, let me pull up their website so I can be accurate in what I'm telling you here. Okay, this is what I thought, but I just didn't want to be wrong. So what makes this special is their peptide that they have in here. It's called the OS01 peptide. It says it's the first skin longevity treatment scientifically proven to target the root cause of skin aging. So skin feels healthier and looks younger. I feel like, first of all, peptides always just like really get me because I feel like peptides are such a cool ingredient that the skin can actually really use. Okay, so it says it's the only peptide scientifically proven to reverse skin aging at a cellular level. That's what it was. I read that and I was like, okay, wait, I need to try this. Honestly, I could read a lot more. You should just go to their website and like, if you're a geek like me, just kind of geek out on some of their studies and everything like that. So knowing about their special peptide in here, it was intriguing. I immediately started using it after receiving it. And honestly, this was probably a month and a half ago, maybe longer at this point. And it's become like my daily moisturizer. I love the texture, but I do feel like my skin just looks healthy. I feel like it looks more um, plump. I guess, more hydrated. It just looks more youthful. I mean, I'm only 30. So, you know, I don't know if I would have noticed a huge difference in like wrinkles yet. But I will say overall, my skin just looks really healthy on the face. And this has been something that I've been using morning and night very consistently. So I'm loving it. I don't know. I feel like it's really, really nice. I also was sent the One Skin Eye Topical Supplement. And this has been an eye cream that I've been incorporating quite a bit in my routine as well. Uh, I figured I would mention these because this was not a product that I thought I would be obsessed with. But I do feel like my skin looks so nice since using these and I literally use these every day. So I might as well tell you about them, right? Like clearly they're a favorite if I'm using them every day. I just haven't put them in a favorites video yet. So there they are. Those are again from One Skin. I'm really happy they sent them to me. All right, let's jump into some makeup. The first thing that I wanted to talk about is this Too Faced contour stick. The way this blends out is actually insane. It's the melting, bronzing, and sculpting stick. Uh, I wear the shade Chocolate Mousse. The way that it actually melts down immediately upon contact to the skin. And then the way it blends out so effortlessly is what I love so much about it. This is the only bronzer that I'm wearing on the skin today. I normally like take it off the back of my hand, but today I took it off of the 
actual applicator. I found that that worked really well. You can actually apply it to the face as well. I just like a little more control and precision. So I took it off the applicator, but it's such a good formula and it smells like chocolate. It's really nice. Um, some cream blushes I've been loving. Persona launched two new colors of their incredible lip and cheek sticks. We've got the Georgia multi stick and then my favorite, which is Carmel. I mean, I really do love both of these. Carmel is just more of the mauve color. So, you know, I feel like I gravitate towards shades like that a little bit more. These are originally their powder colors. They have powder pressed blushes and they brought them into the cream formula, which I love. So I think these are gorgeous for summer. Wanted to give them a little love as well because they're so good. And then the Pat McGrath Divine Rose Glow Blush has had me in a chokehold. This is definitely more dewy compared to the Persona one, but you can see these colors are actually very similar right here. <laughs> Clearly I have favorite colors. Um, so if you're wanting like this type of a color, but you don't want it to be super dewy, this is the blush that I'm wearing, this one, all over, and I'm not wearing a highlight. It's like pretty balmy. Uh, you might wanna go with the Persona one, but both are absolutely gorge. I'm loving those. On the eyes, I have been loving this from Mob. This is actually a collab from my friend Shelby Wilson and Mob Beauty. She made two shades of cream eyeshadow. She made like a lavender taupe, which is so pretty. To be honest, I just haven't like had a chance to wear this one as much as this one because I fell so hard in love with this. The lavender taupe color is called M146. It's so pretty, but the one that I've been using like crazy is M145, which is like this gorgeous champagne. I've been using this on like a daily basis. I've shared it a couple times in a couple of my videos with my everyday look, just applying it right up against the lash line and then putting mascara on for every day is so pretty. I love that it just gives a subtle hint of sheen to the eyes. It is a cream formula, so it like, it makes your eyes look and feel very hydrated, like your eyelids, I should say. I feel like my eyelids look very healthy when I wear this, <laughs> if that's a thing. I am wearing it all over the eyes today. I have another shadow underneath, but this is like all of the shimmer that you see on the eyes and it's so pretty. I would expect nothing less from Shelby. She has such good taste in makeup. So congrats again. I love this so much. All right, I've got quite a few lip products to talk about. It's no secret that I've been absolutely obsessed with the Maybelline Lifter lip liners. Um, I did a whole swatch video on all 10 shades. So if you didn't see that, I'll have it linked down below. My top three shades are Numbers five, six, and seven. To me, I feel like you need all of them. If you have a similar taste in lip liners as me or lip combos or whatever, five, six, and seven are where it's at. So first is the shade five, which is actually what I have all over the lips today. I love that for more like nude look. Then we have the shade Line Leader, which I love for more of an everyday look because this just kind of like enhances my natural lip color really beautifully. It's very soft and subtle. Um, and then Big Lift is gorgeous for those like cool toned lip looks. These are by far my faves. Here, I'll show you up close. Love these three colors. The formula is insane. It's to die for. Again, I will have the swatch video down below for you guys. Those are incredible. I have been loving the Ilia Pink Door Lip Sketch Hydrating Crayon. Pink Door is the shade. I tried a few of their shades, um, all of which are really pretty, but Pink Door, once I tried this one, I haven't put it down. I think because it has a little bit more of a cool tone to it, which for me is just what I reach for. There it is right there. You can see how gorgeous it is. I, I love this and I've been pairing it actually a lot with these lip liners. I've been pairing it mostly with, uh, let's see, these two for a gorgeous lip look for every day. Love that. I think the formula is also very nice and comfortable on here. The only thing is I don't have a sharpener this size. They didn't come with a sharpener either. I might have to go like on Ilya's website and see if they've got a sharpener that fits this so that I can sharpen it. If you guys watched my like date night look video this month, you would have seen me fall head over heels in love with this gloss. <laughs> Nothing's changed, I'm so obsessed. This is from Victoria Beckham. It's the Posh Gloss in the shade Fizz. It is so good. I'm actually wearing a little bit of that today. I didn't want to uh, throw off the like more warm tones that I've got going on. I actually had a much more pinky lip combo on and then I changed it because I feel like it didn't match my shirt. Okay, um, here is that color. Okay, wow. Clearly I have a very favorite vibe when it comes to lip colors, but this posh gloss is so pretty. Like if you're looking for a statement, but like 
in a soft way. You should go go watch the day night video. You'll see how this looks. I loved pairing it with the Pat McGrath blush because I felt like it's literally a perfect match. Okay, this color, I feel like it's very clear what I'm liking right now. Oh, but it's so beautiful. I'll have that tutorial down below if you wanna see it. I absolutely love it. Uh, just really quick though, I did wanna say this combo here, I felt like the uh, Maybelline 05 on it lip liner with the Mario South Shore lipstick. This is technically not like part of my favorites video because I haven't really used this as much as I would like, but I wanted to tell you that that's what I've got combined. So I did these two with a little bit of that posh gloss in the shade Fizz, and that's what I've got going on. Uh, but these two by themselves were so pretty. Anyway, that was like a little side note. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot to talk about this Hourglass powder. This is everything I hoped it would be and more. This is the Vanish Airbrush Pressed Powder, and it is spectacular. It actually airbrushes your skin. I love that it comes with a little puff. I also apply this with a brush. It's the only powder that I'm wearing today and it is so beautiful. I wear the shade Translucent Light. I like that there's a little bit of a tint in this one because I just feel like it brightens the skin really nicely. I have been putting this in my purse when I go out. I have been using it every single time I do my makeup. It is spectacular. It reminds me a lot of the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Powder and it's almost more airbrushing than that, dare I say. I mean, I think so. Let me know if you've tried it, if you think the same, but it's such a good powder. I love it. All right, last but not least, I wanted to talk to you about two hair products that have me in a chokehold as well. I went and got my hair cut by Tawny Dawson in the beginning of June. She's a celebrity hairstylist. She specializes in color extensions and obviously haircuts as well. And I got my hair cut by her and it's my favorite haircut I've ever gotten. Anyway, I was asking her for some product recommendations as I was sitting in her chair and she told me about this leave-in conditioner that also doubles as a heat protectant spray. I picked mine up off of Amazon. This is the Unite 7 Second Detangler. She was talking to me about my hair texture and she was spot on. She was like, it seems like you have the hair Type that tangles really easily and I was like yes <laughs> that's my hair type and so before I left she was like make sure you're using like a heat protectant and this one also happens to be a detangler so I initially bought it because she recommended using a heat protectant spray uh, before using any heat on my hair and then I fell in love with it even more after receiving it and using it a few times for its detangling powers because I really do have a hair type and texture that tangles really easily. So this has worked miracles for me. I use it every single time I wash my hair. I'll spray it through like the mid lengths to the ends of the hair, brush out my tangles, which, you know, this combined with a tangle teaser, like, I'm unstoppable, okay? There's no tangles that get in the way of that combo. So I really love this. I also love the smell. I just... I'm really glad she told me about this. And then my other like obsession is this hairspray. She said with my hair texture, she feels like texture sprays weigh my hair down. And I was like, oh my gosh, maybe that's what's been happening to me this whole time. She was like, I would actually recommend using more of a hairspray than a texture spray. Cause I'm always looking to like boost volume, but I always usually go for texture products. But then she told me about this. I bought this. I also got this off Amazon. This is from Davines. It's the Stronghold Hairspray. This is what she used on me after she styled my hair after she cut it. Um, and I actually asked her what it was because it smells so good. But since I've been able to style my own hair and ideally I would have had my hair down for this. It was just, I didn't have time to wash my hair and style it today. <laughs> so you'll have to take my word for it, but it works really well. I feel like it adds so much more volume to my hair. Um, it doesn't weigh my hair down like some texture sprays have in the past, but the way this smells, I want this bottled up in a perfume. It is so good. It smells like cupcakes, but in a good way. A lot of times with like super sweet fragrances, like cupcakey stuff, I get a headache immediately. It's not that kind. It's like, it's still fresh. I don't know how to describe it except for that it's the most delicious hairspray I've ever smelled. <laughs> uh, but these two together have been really elevating my hair game lately. Along with my haircut, I feel like she taught me a lot. A lot that like no one else has told me about my specific hair and recommended specific products for my hair texture and type. So yeah, I feel like my hair has just looked so much better lately and it's been so much easier for me to style and it holds style better because of these products and everything she taught me. So anyway, I think that's everything. Let me make sure 
I have a list on my phone that I keep every month to make sure I don't forget anything. Um, that's it, okay. I hope you guys enjoyed hearing what I loved the month of June. Obviously these are just the things that I discovered in the month of June. I will be using these in July and in the coming months as well. But I hope you guys enjoyed seeing some of these skincare and hair care products since I usually talk about mostly makeup. Hopefully that was fun to hear about a few extra categories. As always, I love hearing from you guys. If you have a favorite thing that you discovered in June. Tell us in the comments. I love hearing from you. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And yeah, that's it for me today. I hope you all have an amazing day wherever you are, and I will see you in my next video. Love you. Bye!